Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on some hair that was sent to me by a company from Amazon. They really don't have a name listed on there, so hopefully I'm updated on that. So I can post it in the description box. I think it's like a new store, but they reached out to me and asked me to do a review. This hair is very silky. It reminds me of some hair I used to use like in the early 2000s. The ends of it is very bouncy, very curly. It's a very silky texture. Um, so honestly, for my hair, it was kind of, you know, hard to put it on because my hair is slick and this hair is slick. So you'll see how I'm going to install it for it to be successful for me. But if your hair is a little bit on the more textured side, <clears throat> excuse me, you are not going to have trouble. I enjoyed the end and look of it and you can definitely crochet it on if you want to. Here is how I am installing it on my hair. The products that I like to use. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is the Fur Persona. Well, I post a wide array of different types of content. I do not have a specific niche that I focus on. So if you're interested in that type of content, welcome to the family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But my hair is on the thinner side. Um, if you're interested in you know, what I mainly do. So this is how I install most of my box braids or any style I crochet it all just to have a longevity out of it so if you're interested in seeing how this turned out definitely stay tuned uh, I think it turned out quite nice I will be speeding it up so it won't take forever I'm going to focus on parting and show you how I get clean parts using a shining jam if you struggle with parting your own hair all the way around, I do a complete 360 of how I part. So I hope that helps you if you've been kind of researching how to do it on hair that's not as thick, less dense. I am somewhat feeding the hair into the braid as well. I have a more detailed video on this if you're interested. It's the purple knotless braids that I did crochet style. I'm not really going for knotless on here. I'm going for more of anti-slip on it and uh, longevity of the style. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So stay tuned and enjoy and watch to the end. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.